Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you my sewer diorama that I made in, in the last uh, two days. And I didn't really have a think about it and until I go, oh, well, I need some uh, sewer diorama for some lizard figures and a few other fight scenes. So I'm going to kind of sh also show you how to build it. So it took me two boards. So one, two, three, and the other side is four, but two boards. Uh, here you see hot glue and paint with some green and yellow mixed in. Also, I'm going to move you here. I went to Home Depot or Lowe's, grabbed a drain, and then have hot glue going all the way down as a sewer. I also have two doorways here, as you can see. And there's another room here, another room here, and I'll show that in a second after I show you these props I made of Domino's Pizza, where Spider-Man can hold it. I'll show a picture at the end of the video of Spider-Man holding a pizza. Um, I don't have any TMNT figures, but this would also be good um, if they were going down here or anything. So let me show you the one side and then I'll show you the other side. So let's go. Okay, so here you already see this and there's the first doorway. So I'm gonna tilt it here and show you this I made. These are out of uh, wood, um, like um, balsa wood, there we go, at uh, Michael's, and then I just cut them so it looks damaged, and this one's new. So, and then there's some sewer going down this way, but some cracks, let me turn this around. Also up here, I applied some more hot glue because this wall was kind of giving me trouble, it keeps falling down. After using Elmer's glue, um, the paint I used is Spice Berry and then had a black dry brush. As you can see, some black dry brushing, so it gives that dirty effect. I also added some cracks and um, also some cracks in here, like you can see one over here, one over there. Um, let me let us move to the other side now all right so there's that side and now we can move on to over here so i'm going to tilt this move this over here so this is the other side of it so you can remove this if you want and you can see like it's just a circle and you push through uh this is kind of like a small little area like a person could be walking in here or walking out um that's why this one's smaller than this one some more cracks here and of course on the other side is just that plastic part but I'm going to show you a little bit more so in there there's some green smudge so to show you um, to basically show you that it keeps on going inside it goes all the way down here and just keeps on going And time going to show you an up view of it. So yeah, only the base. So one, two, three, four. And it only took some two two boards for it, so that was cool. Um and oh, one thing I also forgot, so in here it kind of looks like it's a, a cuff almost. I grabbed some plastic sheet and I cut it and I bent it over top of it. So it's like a kind of like a half an oval. So it looks like to try to kind of a little bit show you, you see like this, uh, like this is one tide. This is another, that's another, that's another. Like it has tides, like it's a fast sewer drainage or something. So, um, I added also to the other sewer over there with it. That was kind of more difficult trying to grab, find big pieces for that, but it was really easy to find small pieces. Um, that's, these uh, can be movable, um, but I glued them in there so it won't. And then, of course, uh, this part here 
can be removed if you want. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'll have pictures at the end. And yeah, bye.